Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen. Uh, as we play through Alpha 3.14, probably just a few weeks before, I'm sorry, 3.13, probably just a few weeks before 3.14 hits, and the entire game changes forever. Um, we're going to start off doing a very high risk bounty, and I might even throw in this high risk group bounty just for, um, you know, just for fun. The other thing I want to do before I get, before I call my ships out, is um, we want to, I want to double check which, which, ta which, okay, so this is my number two ship. I told you it was going to be the number two. <laughs> number two. Which really should be my number one ship. I don't know, this game's weird sometimes. But we're going to get started here, and um, definitely going to get up to a million bucks in this episode. And, oh, I need to start my timer here. There we go. <clears throat> but I'm still in my yellow gear. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm such a noob. Come on now. Okay, pad number two. All right, so we don't have too far to go pad-wise. Come on! Uh-huh. Uh All right, out to the pad we go. Look at that. We've already lost like a minute and a half. Of course, I did. I think I took the mission before I called my ship. Did I, or am I going insane? Like, probably going insane, but. <laughs> Come on, go, 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 go. They need to rename this game Elevator Citizen. Uh. That's not happened in a very long time. There are some weird things. I know in the last episode, I actually recorded the last episode right before I started this episode. And I, uh, but though I've changed servers a couple times to hopefully guarantee that we're on a maybe okay server. Um, and it's still, still just really wonky things seem to be happening tonight. All right, engines on. I don't know how. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm not sure which. Do we have the multi bounty? Okay. I guess we have the group bounty. <clears throat> oh, somebody asked me. Um, how do you get the group bounties? Well, actually, I don't know if I can pull this up or not. All of the group bounties are from the Northrock group. Um, Northrock, I guess. Wait, didn't I get that other bounty? Yeah, Nor Northrock Service Group. Um, you actually get a mission for the Northrock bounty, you know, certification. And you just do that mission, and which is, I think it is a group target mission. I can't, I don't think it's just one guy you have to go kill. I think it's actually three guys. They're all medium risk targets. Um, you do have to ha have access to medium risk targets with the Bounty Hunters Guild. Um, I think that's the only two things. I think you have to get up to medium uh, risk bounties in the Bounty Hunter Guild. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to do the um yeah i'm pretty sure you have to do the actual cert to get me it's not like you can just be ranked up in the guild enough to do medium bounties you have to actually complete the the certification process for it um okay vanguard warden no problem
Okay, so this is the high risk. So you have to be able to do medium risk bounties. And you have to be able to, and, and you have to complete the North Rock group bounty certification. That's it. That should be it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Don't know why they're coming in up as friendly. And I don't know, let's see here, if we go to journal. This right here should Data Contracts Manager. Um, oh, this is all old. Better Nutrition, Crusader Industries. That's Crusac. Jurisdiction Microtech. Jurisdiction Arc Corp. Advanced. Huh. Okay. So not everything. Oh, no. Here it is. North Rock. Logistics Officer Brian recommends your oh, so that's just the upgrade there. So there's some things missing in my journal apparently. Ah, oh, we could have been quantuming. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up anything that says VHRT. I thought I grabbed the VHRT at first, didn't I? Maybe not. So between the two, it's definitely going to put us at about 950,000. Yao Felana. Yao Felana. seems like it's pretty responsive on this server though so far I'm gonna knock on wood my desk I guess is technically wood still <laughs> I can't believe I've had this desk for over 25 years and the only thing the only problem with it is the it's like a it's like a really dense uh, particle board but it has like this black really thin wood grain overlayment almost like it's been like heated onto the surface and it's been it's you know probably like the last five or six years the front of it's been slowly peeling up um and i have looked everywhere for somebody or a company or something that can replace i've even like called the the company that i bought it from originally and they're like, yeah, we don't, that's so old, we don't even remember it. But the desk is freaking amazing. It's not hardwood, it is like a press board desk, but it's like really high quality. It's like impregnated with like, I don't know what it's impregnated with, like epoxy or something like that. It's really strong, it's really super heavy. All right, so we got him down. But boy, I wish I could get the top surface of this repaired. I've had people come out and say, oh, we can put this type of surface on it or, you know, it like an actual glued surface. But this isn't, that's not what this is like. It's really kind of hard to describe. But it's literally like almost like a plastic, like a thin vinyl. It's almost like a wrap <laughs> in a way. Maybe that's what I need. I need my desk wrapped.
All right. Okay, let's get in here and take this guy out. I'm going to check for bounty missions. Again, I'm looking for VHRT group bounties or single bounties, which are the only two options. I wish there was more variety to like the, the locations that you went to to do bounties. But I guess there's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Like instead of just being these little asteroids, you know, like if there were gas clouds, kind of like at the Lagrange points, maybe around some of the planets, but I don't know. That's probably kind of unrealistic. All right. Am I already damaged? Okay, another warden. There's that. Okay, let's track this one. to do that medium <laughs> the medium risk group bounty actually sounds good at this point not really oh how much money do we get so nine million thirty two thousand <clears throat> so yeah this is this one is going to put us over 950 um do i want to go there or do i want to go let's go up here out of marker one or orbital marker one and two are usually one is usually at the very north pole of the planet Two is usually at the south pole with three, four, five, and six kind of making a diamond shape around uh, the this equator of the planet, essentially. Oh, oh. Okay, there was a little bit of a pause in quantum right there, so that's why... Now we're getting the weird quantum sound again. I think this is what happened in the last episode. Maybe. All right. Matteo Dubois. Or Des Boys. Des Boys! All right, let's see what we got here. BHRT, thank you very much. Completing, completing this and then completing that will definitely put us over a million. Oh. I like... Oh, thank you. See, this mission's being all cooperative. Like, I don't have to go to the center of the asteroid field. Oh my gosh. I don't have to go to the center of the asteroid field and wait for the ship to spawn. It's just right there for me. I can go right in and blow him up. Just... Oh, come on now. Get on. Get on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I thought we collided there. Man, I thought for sure we were going to collide. I didn't really realize we were going that fast. All right. So let's go right in. We might even have well, the other VHRT. No. Track this. Oh, got one guy right over here. Body Dodd. Body Dodd. Body Dodd. Body Dodd. Dod. In 
And we've got Corin Akuna Matata. So I'm sorry. Man, I'm, I hope I don't have that song in my head. Oh my gosh. It's, like the, it's the worst song to have in your head, trust me. Especially when you're trying to sleep. Do you ever get a you ever get a song stuck in your head when you're like trying to fall asleep and you're just like, make it stop. <laughs> oh, we are getting some really cooperative missions tonight. So what are we up to? 951,000. Oh, we're going to be at a million in just a moment. Okay, let's start slowing down here. And we got a Valk. Just concentrating on keeping that little tiny dot centered right in the middle of the s green circle of the small reticle. Is that and that's why right there. All right. Fire up my quantum drive. Oh. Ah. Dang on it. Why'd I do that? I don't know why I did that. I shut my quantum drive off. <laughs> All right, let's see if there are any very high risk targets. There are, thank you very much. I think there might be somebody else on the server doing, doing bounties as well. The key is for me to hog them all, and then hopefully they'll be like, oh, well, I guess all the bounties dried up, and then they'll go to a different server. Okay, <laughs> dropping out. All right, Corinne. Corin or Corinne? Look at the oh, look at the sun coming over the ash the planet, you guys. See how it's look at that. See how it's like sweeping down the asteroid. Oh, that is beautiful. I mean, this is literally that's literally see the the it, it, that's like sunrise right there, guys. That is freaking beautiful. Yeah, I, that's probably only the second. I've been playing this game well since PU went live back in when. I want to say early 2018. I guess technically it might have been at the end of 2017, possibly early 2018. And I've I've only seen that maybe not even a handful of times. This I can really just off the top of my head only recall maybe seeing that one other time. Maybe two. That is freaking awesome. And if you go back and you watch it kind of like accelerated, like time accelerated a little bit, you can actually see the light from the star like sweeping down. Come on. Oh, oh, we're hitting, we're hitting your uh, engines there. Did I just get, did I just lose an engine myself? Okay. Guess I'll find out here in a moment. No, it's still, it's still good.
even though Misk is a human manufacturer, I would say this is, I think I've said this before, this is the most alien design of all the other ship designs and probably one of the most impractical in my opinion, but what else? Okay, so we're gonna go over to outer marker six. Would have swore that said three, but wait. Oh, there we go. It was outer marker three. Did you see how six was only like 50 kilometers away? That's why I was like, wait a second. Something is not right here. Actually, completing this <clears throat> will put us over a mill. So what is this, like, episode 12, maybe? 12 or 13? I, like, f completely forget, like, how my episodes are numbered. I, I want to say this is 12. So basically, in 12 episodes... We're all, we're literally almost to like two million in what we've earned because we bought the Mako, or I'm sorry, the ta the the Reliant Tana, which we're flying right now. And okay, where is this guy? The waypoint just oh, there he is. Oh, wait a second, we gotta slow down enough. So we're earning good money here. Especially with the Tana now. Okay, we got a foul. Okay, going full on. Okay, his front and rear shields are down. Like you got a little bit of a recharge there. Boom. Just like that. One million seventeen thousand three hundred and fifty nine. One million and how let's see, how much time? So we've only been we've been going for about twenty three minutes, twenty two, twenty three minutes. All right, let's see what we got. Um, no VHRTs. Let's go ahead and, ahead and take the high risk bounty. Uh. Oh, we got this guy too. So let's do that one really quick. As soon as I as soon as I jump into quantum, we're gonna keep an eye on the um, the bounty list here. Ah, I would love to do that one. I would. I have to see how much the aurora. Or the um, is it no the eclipse? <laughs> the aurora. Okay, outer mark. Yeah, we'll go to outer marker one. <clears throat> is that the is that Aegis Eclipse? I think it's Aegis Eclipse. 
Come on. Oh, come on, nah. There we go. I want to say it's like ill. I want to say it's a little more than it's like three. Oh, it's like three point five million. So yeah, we would have to be cranking out a lot more. But see, like we'll be able to get it's. It basically pays eighty thousand. It, technically, I guess it's like 79000 Plus, you get bonuses. So, once we get up to 20% bonuses, I mean, we're going to be really raking it in. Looking okay, so we are gonna have. Uh, let's do the VHRT. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, like it's showing like we have a route. Oh, there he is. Well, at least we don't have far to go for him. I wanted to check how my North Rock... Man, okay. So... I've always read that Hurston and Northrock don't like each other, so I'm going to see. So we're right kind of at the end of the E. I'm going to see if by killing this dude, if our Northrock rep goes down. That would be kind of trippy if it did. Are we going to get the shaft on this one? This will be like the first one. Yeah, generally the server is like much smoother. Like, I really want to kill this this dude so that I can see what, um, there he is. So I can see how it affects my rep. And we've got a hurricane, which is going to be easy peasy. Now let's go look at our rep. No, it's pretty much unchanged. And we're moving up Hurston's ladder, so... Okay, so I was kind of thinking 
you know, okay, I do not want to be going that way. I want to be going out into deep space. But let's do the group bounty next. We'll go out here to Magda. Where are we? Is this Ida? We might be on the backside of Ariel, actually. Yeah, that's Ariel. Okay. Again, just check in for those VHRTs. One million five hundred and no, one million fifty five thousand. going to put us really close to 1.1 mil <clears throat> indefinitely at the 200,000 UEC mark for this episode. So let's see how long have we been going for um, a little over a half hour. We've been having good luck with the missions popping up. Vout coming in. Oh, I feel like I'm coming in way fast. friendly okay cruise on and jumping oh did you see that guy just jump in there he was just off to the right if you go back you'll see like a little streak kind of move from the left to the right that was actually another ship I see those and I'm like ah, it's just a little piece of space debris as we're getting ready to jump but no, like that's actually the light trail of another ship. And technically we're not going the speed of light. In Star Citizen, I think you're actually only going about 0.2 C, which is about 20% the speed of light or 0.2 the, you know, the speed of light um, when you're in quantum. So not really going the speed of light. cooking good night all right so one more right yep outer marker five where do I want to go here Yeah, outer marker one. If you have to jump around a planet, usually one or two are gonna be the ones you wanna go for. So, okay, so this is the high risk bounty. As soon as I jump, we'll go and see what else we got. Not much. 
So we'll do the VHRT right after this. One million fifty-eight thousand. This is going to put us really close to one point two million, or one point one million. I'm sorry. Now, if we could only start getting lucky on those VHRT group bounties, if I could get like three of those in a row, I'd be super happy. All right. Saber. Dayton? 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 Something like that? on just cruise out to open space there and we're gonna track him nothing else I really want to take right now Like a little, we're like 260 something away from 1.1 mil. So this will definitely put us over 1 1. Give me some missions. Maybe I, am I, am I going to have to stoop to the medium risk targets? They're so beneath me now. <laughs> no. I mean, I'll do them. It's better than, you know, earning some money is better than earning no money. Come on. K Bromwell or Kai, K E I, K or Kai. Hey, who knows? I don't. Check out this con. I mean, I'm like cons. This is how I play it. This is how I play bounties. I'm constantly just pushing through them, pushing through them, trying to make money as quickly as I possibly can, being the most efficient bounty hunter as I possibly can. Oxygen tanks down to 60%, which is just fine. This is going to be a Valk. Yes, it is. Did we collide? I'm pretty sure I was well clear of him. That was, and I'm pretty sure we didn't hit anything because there wasn't anything in my trajectory other than the Valk. So that might've just been like a server desync. Who knows? Party disbanded and we failed the mission. Great. The reason why I know is it's not up there at the top of the screen. 
crap. How are we doing on Delphi? Kirsten Dynamics Demotion. Oh. You have joined Channel Anvil Valkyrie. That's probably. That was probably inside the Valkyrie when I died. And Party Disbanded. Yeah, I bet that's what happened. I bet. I bet the server was desynced a little bit, and it just that's one of the, that's one of the the risks of doing those like straight on suicide, you know, suicide runs like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in here. I'm gonna click an elevator door. So we're going to file the claim. Just going to pay the fee to get it back instantly. Okay. Oh, I know why it's not. I know I know why these aren't flipping now. Because this one is actually physically stored. Like if I were to claim that one, they would if I, as long as I never brought up that other one, they would just constantly flip over each other. And it's like a, an absolute nightmare. And a, a lot of other people, you know, if you're heavily ingrained into the Star Citizen community, you know. Yay, see? Pad two, right? Yep. I just kind of got in and clicked on pad two and then I'm like, wait. Is that right? Thank Gersh it was. So, oh, man. All right, so what missions do we have? I guess we'll just do this HRT. Ugh. I almost feel like jumping servers because I feel like there's somebody else on here doing HR, uh, VHRTs and we're kind of fighting each other over them. Okay, he's going to be completely shut down. Power on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go out here first. As soon as I jump, I'm gonna check those bounties again. As one does. Whoa. There's nine bounties available, not a single ER, uh, not ERT, but actually, oh no, we, that's right, we don't have the, we don't have a ship to do ERTs. It's like it, now I'm now I'm kind of facing a dilemma. Do I want to buy a Cuddy Black and a Gray Cat Rock, which I do, or do I want to continue earning money and save up for the Aurora at for three point five mil? That's a lot of money, admittedly. But then I would basically be able to do all levels of bounties, at least until at least until 3.14 drops. And at that point, who knows? Bob's your uncle. Um, Razan Burrell. Okay, I have no idea what's going to happen here. 
Could get a target right now, any moment, but I don't think we are. Okay, now we're starting to get unlucky. We've had pretty good luck on the server so far. Whoops. Man, we got like all these bounties. I don't know if... Don't know. I'm not familiar with that name. Okay, cruise off. Let's pull it back just a little bit. Up, oh, and it's a valve. <laughs> Given this one like a little bit wider of a berth. I don't want the same thing to happen. I mean, he could have been putting a fire on me. I mean, th those things have, like, si I think it's, like, size 3 guns. I don't think they're size 2s. I think they're size 3s. And for, you know, a fairly lightly armored ship like the Tana... Oh! Uh, okay, he's gone. You know, for a lightly arm ar uh, armored ship, heavily armed for our size, um, you might be able to cut through that pretty quick. Alright, off the Magna we go. One point one mil. Actually Yeah. Cause that was part of the high risk bounty. Okay. I mean, I'm checking them like a madman, and they're not. There's nothing popping up. I mean, there's like that, but I mean, I mean, they're better than nothing. But somebody's definitely taken up the VHRTs. They do pay more. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, there's people. There's people in chat talking about um, bounties, so, you know, there could be somebody else on this server doing bounties. I should record, like, really early in the morning when, like, nobody's on. Like, on a Monday morning. <laughs> okay, got another Valk. See, this should be, like, a... This should be like a VHRT, because we've already had two Valks, and that's VHRT area. Oh. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. Okay, Spool Quantum. Elliot Corbin. Jumping right into the sun. Yay. See, I gave my strategy away early on in this episode, and now it's like I'm thinking about jumping servers <laughs> because somebody else is hogging all the, the missions. Ugh. 
I mean, I'm not getting any VHRTs. Okay. Oh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything at all. And it's another vat. See, this this should be a VHRT. Why it's an HRT, I have no idea. That's so stupid. So we got three Valks on a high-risk bounty. And not a very high-risk bounty. So, I just... Silly. I mean, when the Valkyrie is the very high risk <clears throat> bounty for very high risk bounties they shouldn't be on high risk bounties they should be on vhrts maybe one but that should be it all right north rock group see we're, we're like moving this along but not very fast not very fast at all and still no yeah so i think what i'm gonna do let's see how much time do I have left? We've only got about 10 minutes left. So we're just going to kind of keep slogging, I guess. Let's see. What do we got? I mean, there's just nothing. There's nothing. I mean, I guess I could do... I guess I'll just do this high risk. I mean, that's going to earn me the most in the least amount of time. I'm really going to be slumming it if I'm going to medium risk. <laughs> oh, gosh. I remember like a few years ago, I, I used that expression, slumming it, and like... Somebody, like, really, really got triggered over it and was like, that is really horrible. Like, I'm not... It's just an expression. It's not meant literally. <laughs> so, I don't want to make my... My, my obje entire objective is to never make people mad, but come on. It seems like in the last few years, just everybody's been freaking out about language and political correctness and all this other stuff and um you know nobody has like a sense of humor anymore well i mean a lot of people do but you know you get like one person and it's like Wee! okay i'll shut up about it now i'm i just want to play this game and have fun i want to enjoy it i want you to, guys to enjoy watching it and hearing my banter whatever it may entail however shocked you may be i hope you've you get a laugh out of it. That is my only goal. All right. So hawk aral, hawk aral. I'm gonna hawk a loogie. All right. Let's slow down because I can't see too much here. And I got a feeling we're gonna be sitting here in the middle of this asteroid, waiting for hawk aral. If it's a hurricane, it would pop up by now or any second. So we'll just kind of slowly go in here. Let's check these bounties. I mean, like, a VHRT hasn't popped up in, like, 15 minutes. And, I mean, I'm checking them. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Where is he? Here? There he is. And it's a Valkyrie. What the heck? These should we should not be getting Valks on high risk targets. Just no. These should be VHRTs and that's just silly. Ah. Uh, 
be moving. Come on now. We're getting some server desync here. He's got all his turrets going. Holy cow. He's not hit. Oh, he's hitting. There we go. Whoa! Okay, that was pretty cool. Subdue's bouncy. Did we get like a crusader? No. Did we get a hersec? Why does it feel like I'm not moving up? Like I'm barely. We went from like the end of the E to like almost the end of the C. Wow. I mean, there's just nothing. So I think what, I'm just gonna call it. We got to one point, I mean, we didn't really do that great in this uh, less than hour. Um, really kind of disappointed, but I mean, it is what it is. Let's head back. I'm just gonna head back. I just don't have a good feeling and, and swapping servers is gonna take so long. And I mean, I could edit that whole part out, but you know, we're still only, only going to have time to do one mission, even if it's a group mission. And unless we get one right here, okay, there's a VHRT. I will take that. What the heck? Why does it say even my Merc mission is gone. What the heck? Call to arms. It didn't even accept the other one. And it's gone. What the heck? Yeah, I'm calling it a night. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to head back to Hurston. I feel like we're... What the heck? My... Quantum Drive wasn't fired up, but it said I was locked on in Hurston. Okay, I'm so confused. What the heck? There's, I, it's almost like a script kitty or somebody is like stealing, like getting these contracts. That is insane. But we'll come back in the next episode, guys and gals, and um, and we'll pick up, and hopefully I'll try to choose a better time, except for, you know, late on a Sunday, early, well, it is, I guess technically it's Monday morning because it's after midnight, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll try to get that started, because we don't have that much, I mean, if we get like one episode of good missions we're at 1,155,000 so we made about 250,000 a little bit more about 265,000 actually oh no I didn't turn my quantum drive off did I that's okay we'll just turn around go up like this um so I mean not terribly bad we we had a really good first half of this episode and then it just all dried up So sometimes that's just the way it is. But um, I'm going to go in and land. That is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me as always um, as I try to make money, showing you guys how to how to basically maximize your profits running bounties um, as a starting player in 3.13. A lot of these skills that you're going to learn in this series, even if you're watching in 3.14 or 3.15, a lot of these skills are going to carry over to later versions. Um, not saying everything is because, you know, the combat is going to be a lot different. Um, and who knows? They could end up changing the... Um, uh, they could end up changing the way missions work. And I hope they do someday. But for right now, um, you know, there's still a lot of good information that I hope I'm sharing with you guys on how I personally do things. And, um, you know, in a couple hours a day, you know, three hours a day, you're gonna be able to make three or four hours a day. I'm gonna say four 
if you like to come home from work and sit and play for three or four hours, you know, you're going to be able to make a million Alpha UEC a day. Depending on how, you know, how much you like to play. But, you know, hopefully you guys can make a couple mil a week doing these. And, um... Buy yourself some more ships and game, and so you don't have to spend the real money on it. All right, well, again, that is it for me. Thank you all so much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm Brad M73. This is Star Citizen, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.